Our next veteran specializes in Japanese tattooing, and his versatility got him to the final three. Fuzz. James Vaughn. Oh, what? Japanese master. Yo, Billy, kick-ass tattooer. Line work, color, even your shading. This is another monster tattoo from you. Go big or go home. Not a lot of tattooers could have done this amount of tattooing. If there's one guy I did not want to face in this whole competition, it's James Bond. He's totally versatile and one of the fastest tattooers I've ever seen. Ready to knock him out. I've proven that I can go rounds with anybody in this business. I'm coming back to win this bitch. James. Yes, sir. This week, you are calling the shots. What is the next elimination tattoo? Traditional style Japanese dragon with water. A Japanese dragon is super complicated and has so many rules that you need to abide by. And if one of those elements is missing, you're done. Dragons only. James, why did you choose that? Through all the seasons, everybody's up a dragon. I specialize in it, so see if they can handle it. This has to be crystal clear so that it's not interpretation. Call out whatever it is you're looking for. It's going to have to be in a traditional style. Bold outlines and the way traditional dragon is supposed to look. I've had kid gloves going into everything, but I'm going to call you out on every thing I can find. Every last one of you. We haven't even gotten started on these things, and Nunez is already pissed at everybody. I definitely stress line work. Trying to throw a bunch of different line weights. A lot of people try to just go bold and keep it that way. I've been tattooing 25 years. I draw Japanese-style tattoos all day long. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff going on in that thing. I do huge pieces. I, I love it. I'm going to put claws, scales. Get my damn scale on. Put a little shade in there. Put a little shade in there. That's cool. I got this tattoo in the bag. Sound like a rattlesnake over there. I can smell death on Japanese day. This is gonna be an absolute <laughs> show murder fest. <laughs> Everybody's freaking out, except for James. He looks fine. I think I put enough scales on the bit. <laughs> Today, James Vaughn challenged you to the ultimate test of legibility, a Japanese dragon with water. James. From the head all the way to the top, the flow of the spine, I love that. And the really nice scaling that you did and the way that the plates fall over each other on the turns. Overall, man, you definitely show off and do a lot of great things in this. But when you look at the whole tattoo, where's the face? Which part of the body is which part of the body? When you back up on this thing five feet, what the is going on with it? You have that eyebrow, and then the spine of the other body come around is directly right where that eyebrow is. Then you got the nose, and where the body comes off the nose is perfectly right off that nose with the same green. It's so on top of itself that you lost it on legibility for me today. All right, guys, it's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Every one of them has challenges. Which one would I side with? James, just because it's the most comprehensive background and foreground. Today, there will be no flash challenge. We are moving directly into the next elimination tattoo. Wow. You're being judged on texture. Texture is a way of making a piece of art look like you could run your finger over it and feel how it feels in real life. For this elimination tattoo, you must completely transform your canvas's back giving them a full set of wings. Oh, my God. And you must collaborate with another artist. No. Two of you must tattoo the same canvas at the same time. One artist must tattoo a good wing on half of your canvas's back, and the other artist must tattoo an evil wing on the other half. Me. You must work together to give your canvas a cohesive tattoo, but you'll be judged individually. Wow. These canvases have no clue what the hell they're in for. I hope they brought some rawhide shoes because this is gonna be painful. How's that on my look? Big enough. Our dude, he's a big guy. I picked that for myself because I'm a man and I'm here to go big or go home. You're probably gonna get a pretty good sized tattoo. Impressive. I hope this dude can handle two dudes at once, man, because you're getting a 12 hour tattoo in six hours. The pain is excruciating. You better make sure you eat than just try and get in a food coma. It's gonna be brutal, man. 
know what I'm capable of, and I didn't want to pick somebody that wasn't as equal, because then I had one side super big and the other side not so big. Our tattoo is huge! This thing is the biggest, baddest tattoo that's ever been done on Ink Master. Pretty much getting a full back piece. My strategy on this tattoo is mow it the f down. Nobody's got the balls to go this big, and I can guarantee that. I'm just trying to get a shade plan so it looks cohesive in the thought process. We're doing dark from the side over. Yours looks good because you got the texture on your side. I'm trying to keep it smooth rolling into yours. Woo! I'm stuck. Me and Clean, we got this thing. This fool's gonna jump off the damn table and start flying away. Why did everybody go so small? There better be some bells and whistles on that one. How the hell y'all spend six hours on that bitty ass tattoo? Y'all got the kitchen sink in there? <laughs> <laughs> Sausage, that thing is small as hell. Let me pull out the periscope. Is that a tattoo over there that I see? It's a stiff competition. Three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. He looks like a fly. Yeah. Look, yeah. <laughs> Texture. That's crazy. <laughs> Clean's tattoo is huge, but it has no texture, tons of wonky lines, and a whole bottle full of white just popped in there. This knucklehead thinks that everything is about bigger. It's not about bigger, it's about better, Clean. Today, you had to use texture to give your canvas wings. Each of you tattooed with another artist, but you'll be judged individually. Let's start with Clean and James. Out of the field, you're the ones that really have the good versus evil theme. You have two different types of wings, but they're both big. You kept them both the same tone, so it's appealing for his back. James, you got the more evil fantasy wing, all the different textures that you have in the folds of the wing, the torn frayed elements at the bottom of the wing, not only make this wing appear to be the darker of the two, but also knocks the texture part of this challenge out of the park. Anybody who did less than this in their wings, I'm coming for you. Time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Certain moments of James really stand out for texture. Jesse has some nice little textures that's thrown in there, but Christian's uniformly looks nice throughout, looks soft, looks like a feather. Technically, I think it's the strongest tattoo of the day. I agree, Christian did an amazing tattoo today. However, I think James stepped outside of the box the furthest and showed multitude of texture. He really did. My final decision is for James Vaughn. It's gonna be tough. I don't appreciate the same stencil flip two ways. I'm going with James. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to James. Congratulations, James. You are safe from elimination. Many ancient Asian cultures use tattoos to express status, beauty, and their most profound beliefs. They understood that highly visible tattoos were the strongest way to make a permanent statement. Today, you must help your canvas make a bold statement by tattooing a very prominent part of the body, the forehead. Forehead tattoos, really? Out of control. If you mess up on somebody's arm, they can wear a shirt over it. Forehead, are you gonna walk around with a headband for the rest of your life? You must use ingenuity to create a design that works with the awkward shape of the forehead and complements the features of the face. Play to the sensibilities of who you're tattooing. They're asking to get their foreheads tattooed. Then be mindful of what it is you're tattooing and play into that. Do something beautiful. That work, kind of um, sacred geometry, um, mandala type thing that okay. kind of like goes to a point okay. right here. She wants her whole forehead blasted. I'm like, oh, hell no, girl. Mm -mm. I wouldn't get too crazy with it, like being like too thick. And blending in. Oh, Lord have mercy, this ain't going well. <laughs> I convinced her to go with a more feminine design, so I'm doing all this itty bitty dot work and lace patterns and beads. Every little detail takes time. All right, guys, it is now time to critique your work. James. You really showed ingenuity just because you blended it into two different style tattoos on each side of the head. It framed her face very nice. The arc you put over her forehead with the dip in the center, very symmetrical. I was a little over the top, and he kind of calmed me down. And he was like, well, let's make it a little bit more feminine and frame your face. Talking her off the ledge is definitely the right thing to do. I totally commend you on that. The judges have decided the winner of the Flash Challenge is James. Yours was not as straightforward as everybody else's. You softened up a lot of work that was a little bit harsher, and I really feel that you did her service. Woo, I'm stoked. I ain't never won a flash challenge before. Today, your canvases are counting on you to fix one of the biggest mistakes of their lives. Whatever. 
victims by covering up a constant source of shame, a hate tattoo. We gotta cover up some hate tattoos? We just did four hits. This is getting crazier and crazier. From Confederate flags to swastikas, these controversial tattoos are permanent statements of strong beliefs. Wow. Who agrees to tattoo this kind of symbol on somebody for the rest of their life? You have no moral values. What is your name? Where can I find you? And I will cover your face up with my boot. When I saw it from across the room, I was like, I see a flower right there. The canvas I gave myself was probably one of the hardest cover-ups in there because it's so big. But I know that I can cover anything with a flower. I do flowers all the time, so it wasn't really a far stretch. I've designed all the petals to curl in right around that circular shape that's part of the anarchy symbol. I can just kind of keep all my darks on the tips, and I can use the shadows that are already there. Yeah. Everybody knows it's going to get a really nice tattoo. Let's get this over with, and let me get to the damn finale. Today, you had to show ingenuity by covering a hate tattoo. James, you're up first. You chose a pretty large cover-up for yourself. The first thing I saw was a floral pattern that would fit her and just get rid of that huge tattoo without being really dark. You've given this woman something very feminine, something very beautiful. Of the day, this woman's life has been transformed more dramatically than anybody else, and she has you to thank for it. There are some lines that are less than perfect in here, especially in these top flowers on the outside. There's some areas where you have just packed white all the way up to those lines, and the lines that are crooked and the lines that are shaky, it makes them really stand out. But something like this, with this much detail, close inspection, you're gonna find a lot of discrepancies. Feeling confident about putting this many lines into this type of skin in this area, knowing that you're up against six hours was a ballsy move. This panned out for you in that sense. You definitely achieved the cover-up. The shading that you have going from dark to light, you disperse it throughout. And that way, it's not an obvious cover-up. It's a strong tattoo, and it's a lot of tattooing in a short amount of time.